Okay, here we go. A pet store sells angelfish and clown loaches. They sell two angelfish and six clownfish. Uh, clown loaches, same as clownfish, okay? They collect a total of $36. If angelfish cost $2 more than clown loaches, what's the cost for each type of fish? Now, I'm well aware this looks kind of crappy, but you have three units. The angelfish, the clown loaches, and the dollars. So that's going to be three units. So three units you need to set up your grid. But it's not going to be like the other assignments. Okay, Everything's kind of new. So you got together. And on top of here you got your angel fish. Okay. Oh no. Label the rest of it standard. Okay. How many units per unit in total? Okay. Now, the two independent units are the angelfish and the clownfish. So, and you can abbreviate if you want. I'll write the full word so you can see. And clown loaches. Okay. Then dollars. Dollars total. Dollars per unit. Now, just like other ones, you got your together amount. The, the total cost together is 36 bucks. ditch that it's gone once you put it on the table now how many units now you're looking for numbers that are not money angelfish two angelfish nice six clownfish that's six you could add two and six and then have that as eight over there okay so that's not really an equation okay there's no variable there unlike last year there's your first difference now just like on other ones you're going to leave that empty you're not going to need to use that so get rid of the two, get rid of the six. Now, what's the only thing you see about the cost per unit? There's only one number left. The angel fish cost two dollars more. More is key, okay? More is key. That means you don't just put two. You put a plus two. But you got to read the problem. The angel fish cost two dollars more, so the plus two goes with the angel fish. Now we don't know what either one of these are, but we know this one's two more in comparison with that. Now you're gonna put x plus two. Now you're like, what's the other one? Y? No, no, it's not. When you put a plus two, you are comparing two unknowns. With that more than, you don't use y. Y will not be in this table. You will call this just x without the plus 2. Okay? Now, now we're going to multiply. Well, let's multiply here. That looks familiar. 6 units. Don't know the cost per unit, so it's 6 times x, and that's 6x. Now, you got to watch yourself here. You need to put that in a parentheses, and you need to write up here 2 times the parentheses x plus 2. Okay, then you're going to apply a 1 there if you want, and you distribute, okay? So 2 times 1x is 2x, and 2 times 2 is 4. So, down here I will be writing the expression 2x plus 4, okay? So again, 6 times x, 6x, but this is 2 times an expression, so 2 times 1x, 2 times 2. You need to put that in parentheses, the plus part. Now, you're like, where's my other equation? This is the only equation you got, okay? But it's a good equation because it only has x. There is no y we have to worry about. So then what I do is I combine my like terms, and that's 8x. And then pretty easy, you just times 4. 8, 8 times x plus 4, so you minus your 4, you get 32. Then you divide by 8, and you get 4. Now, you need to go up in this table, in these two unknowns, and put 4 and 4. Now, for the angelfish, what's 4 plus 2? That's 6, so those cost $6. Clown loach is 4. Okay, 6 and 4 are the costs. Okay, next problem. 
an adult pass for a county fair costs $2 more than a children's pass. When 378 adult and 214 children's passes were sold, the total revenue is $2,384. Find the cost of an adult pass and the cost of a children's pass. So, three units, adults, children, and money. You can see them highlighted right there. So, together. How many units per unit in total? Okay. Now, adults and children's. And you can put passes if you want, or you can just abbreviate. Okay. So, dollars total, dollars per unit. Now, give me my total cost. My total cost is $2,384. Now, find me my non-money amounts. You got 378 adults, and you got 214 children. You might as well just add those together, okay? So three to fill out your together, because you're going to be able to find that. That's not unknown, but when I can just add them together. So that's 592. Now, so that takes care of these two amounts. I've accounted for these. Now, dollars per unit. Now there's only one really thing you have. Two dollars more. There's that word more. When you see that word more, that means you don't need Y. Okay, that's one. Okay, you don't need Y and it's only going to be one equation. Okay, I don't need a system. Okay, you just put a plus two with your adults because that's the one that don't put it for children. Read the problem. If the adult, whatever costs, whatever's the two dollars more is where you put the plus two. That'd be x and this x plus two, and this would just be x. So when I have that more than comparison, I have no use for a y. Okay. Now you have to find these products. 214 times x is easy. Okay. That's just 214x. Okay. This one, you need to get a parentheses around that. And you take 378 times the parentheses x plus 2, okay? And then you distribute with your rainbows, okay? Put a 1, put a plus. 378 times 1x is 378x, but then you got to take 378 times 2 as well, okay? That's 756. So yes, you are going to put in that box 378x plus 756. That's what you got when you multiplied, isn't it? So yeah. Remember, you don't need y and you only need one equation, so don't make the cross, okay? So you have 378x plus 756 plus 214x equals 2384. Now, you combine your x's, and that's 592x plus 756 equals 2,384. So you got times and plus, you undo the plus, you subtract 756. Okay, so 2384. Minus 756, 1,628. Then it's dividing time to find the missing factor of the x. So I divide 1,628 by 592, and that's 2.75. Okay, that's okay if you got a decimal because you're finding money amounts. Now you go up to your x's and replace them both with 2.75. Okay, both these unknowns. So the adults now cost 2.75 plus 2. That's 4.75. And then the children cost just the 2.75. Okay, boom. Okay, next problem. At a play, $2,995 was collected from tickets. Adult tickets cost $2 more than student tickets. If 325 children and 404 adults attended the play, find the cost of each type of ticket. So you got three units. Okay. 
also together. <coughs> then you got how many units per unit in total. Okay. So you got adults and students. And then dollars total, dollars per unit. So, total cost, $2,995. You can put commas in there if you want, I don't care. Now, it's a little game changer here, okay? Well, not really. How many units? Well, 325 is indicative of how many units. 325 children, okay? Children would be the same as students, okay? I wrote it like an idiot, okay? 325. Students, children, uh, yeah, it's my fault. 404 adults. Then I add 404 to 325, and that's 729. So that's not an equation. That's just me filling out my stuff. Okay, so those two need to go. Remember, cross numbers out once you put them on the table. Adult tickets are, there's that word more than. More than, first off, means you don't need Y, okay? X will do it just fine. And secondly, you're only going to have one equation. So you can't be making the cross or think you have to, okay? Because, see, you're going to put plus 2 with your adults, and then X, and this is just going to be X without the plus 2. Okay, now find these products. I mean, how many units? 325. The cost per unit is unknown. So 325 times X is 325X. Okay. Now, you, if it's got a plus within the expression, it needs to go in parentheses as a quantity. So you have 404 times X plus 2. 404 times 1x, 404 times 2. So that's 404x plus 404 times 2 is 808. So in that box, you're going to put 404x plus 808, and now you have your equation, okay? So 404x plus 808 plus 325x equals 2995. Again, I only need one equation. I knew that when I saw that more than with the unknowns. Okay? So, V those, and you're going to get 729x plus 808 equals 2995. So you get times and plus, you take out the plus by subtracting. Okay, so 2995 minus 808, and that's going to be 2,187. Now it's time to divide by the 729. Okay, so 2187 divided by 729 is 3. Okay, so I go and replace both these x's now with my answer of 3. So the adult, what's 3 plus 2? That's 5 last time I checked, and that's 3. 3 and 5. $5 for adults, $3 for students. Okay, last problem. Hardcover books cost $3.50 more than paperbacks. $198 was collected from selling 20 hardcover books and 12 paperback books. Find how much each type of book costs. Three units. Okay. Okay. So, together, how many units per unit? Total. Okay. So you get the hardcover and the paperbacks. Okay. So hardcover, paperbacks. And then the cost, money total, cost per unit. Okay. Total cost together, well, that's $198.
Okay, how many units? Well, 20 and 12 are how many units? Okay, so 20 and 12. 20 plus 12 is 32. Okay, that's not really an equation because there's no variable. Okay, you just add those, but... Okay, dollars per unit. So the only thing I see about the dollars per unit, the only thing left is the three... Oh, there's that word more. So only need x, you only need one variable, and you only need one equation, okay? You will not be making two. So, plus 3.50, the hardcover books cost more. Now, still, you got to put x and x with that, because they're still unknown, you just know this is 350 more than this. Okay, so, this is easy to multiply, 12 times x. That's 12x. This right here, you need to put, apply the parentheses there, and you take 20 times the parentheses of x plus 3.50. Okay? So, distribute. 20 times 1x is 20x. 20 times 3.50 is 70. So that's my answer. So that's, that's not the answer problem, but you put 20x plus 70 in that box, okay? 20 times x, 20 times 350. Okay, so write out your equation. Okay, now you solve it. You remember, you only need one equation to solve the problem, okay? Add those, it's 32x plus the 70 equals the 198. Okay, take out your plus 70 by minus 70. It's 128. And then you divide each side by 32. 128 divided by 32 is 4. Okay. So go up and replace your x's with 4's. And then I can find the answer easily. So the hardcover books are $4 plus $3.50. Well, that's $7.50. And then the paperback books are just the $4.